Do your locks have any relation to your musical journey? Um, no. Not at all. I mean, I guess. I guess, I mean, I guess everything I do has relation to other things that I do. But no, no. I didn't like. I don't know. I don't. My hair is something I always. <clears throat> I always see my hair has been like real hard to maintain. Like my hair is not like his hair. We don't have the same texture of hair. Me and my dad. <laughs> <laughs> no. what, what is this hair? He has like this fine. What is this? Silky. <laughs> oh. You got like this. You got a dad curl. <laughs> no, uh, no, no, that's, that's, that's my mom's yeah. hat. He got like, he got like, he got my mom's hat. That's yeah, like, he got like, like sweet, wavy hair that you yeah. can just like comb, you can just like stroke combs through. So and then mine though is not like that. You break combs, no combs, <laughs> no combs, so, yeah, no, no combs, so, uh, <laughs> like seriously, breaking them, cut, like. So, uh, but I always liked having longer hair, but I just hated maintaining it. So I eventually was just like, ah, oh, I was gonna twist them up. And they were just, they were just for that, like, it was meant to be. So. Yeah, when I was young, I had an afro. That's why I did They go hair. afro, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> 16, whatever. We, they still rocking the afros, right? I could wake up where everybody else had to do the pick. I just wake up and just shake my Perfect. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, <laughs> hey. Oh my God. Hey. Why you grow yours? Mm -hmm. uh, mine was mine was a process, mine was a journey, mine was like something I wanted to do for myself. I decided that like I'm from Virginia so I graduated high school and I knew I was going to school in Ohio so I was like I'm going out there and I don't know anyone. I didn't like, I'm going to wipe myself clean of everything. Good and bad just and now I look at it like it kind of was like I was running away, but not really, because I ended up coming back around and picking up some of the pieces that I missed. But it was more so of like a self-reflecting thing, so I was going to go back and actually take my time to do things right. And um, I was a big goofball in like my freshman year, my sophomore, my sophomore year of high school, and then I got my stuff together, like junior, senior year, you know, got my grades together. And I was like... Just doing, you know, kid stuff like just not turning in my homework. Right. But I would like have it in my locker, like right. complete, mm. you know, and just be like, oh, yeah. So I just like, when I got to college, I was like, I'm going to do things right. So I cut my hair off and I knew I was going to lock my hair and I wanted to go through the whole process. I didn't want to, you know, explore my nigga naps and just lock it up. Mm -hmm. I wanted to cut my hair off, so I cut it off. And I came in freshman year, freshman year, and I I I started out clean, and I met this little thing right there. <laughs> she was one of my first friends that I met, and um, she actually, to this day, six years, seven years later, is still one of my closest friends, and she helped me like kick my ass to keep going. So even like freshman year, I made the dean's list freshman year. And I was like, okay, I can do this shit. Right, like, right. This ain't nothing, whatever. Right. So, and that process of like locking my hair, you go through like, at like the three month phase, you're like, ugh, right. I want to cut these joints right? off. Oh, <laughs> this is not working. And then you like go through like, year, exactly. Right? And then you're like at like eight months, nine months, just like, okay, but I can't put it in a ponytail yet. And they ain't, they ain't flowing in the wind yet. So I don't know. So you get over that first year and then you really seek growth and then and you're proud of yourself and then you really get to know each individual lock. Like I know I have 158 locks. Yeah, 158. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I know. Uh -huh. And I know where they are. And it's like they were they were there. Yeah. And when some of them were weak, you know, I cater to them. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like they, it shapes it's like a it's like a big puzzle. It kind of shapes your whole life and your whole journey and like each piece of the puzzle it makes up like the component of your realm of your reality and, and your idea of your utopia and like I feel like at this age in my life I'm I started from the middle of my puzzle and I'm just now putting on my edges so I'm looking for those the edge pieces you know so mm -hmm. and that's what I got to say uh -huh. <laughs> Kind of, it's 
it's like, because uh, I'm speculating what you're saying, I could think, I'm only thinking what you're probably saying overall, because yeah. he had to walk away for whatever reason and so mm -hmm. forth. Uh, do you think one of the reasons that you stay away from because you get back into the game and then mm -hmm. everything else get pushed yeah. to the side? Cause that was one of the main. So deeply into yeah. it because we do get uh, uh, you not get even absorbed over, in yeah, it. Yeah, yes, absorbed in it. Yeah. Yes, and, and it, then it becomes overwhelming for everybody else around mm -hmm. you. You know, it's like oh. or, or it becomes so much of your reality that you can't. You don't even see what's wrong with right. the fact that you're spending exactly. 13 hours exactly. in the studio by yourself and you haven't eaten mm -hmm. and you're okay with that. Yes, and can't wait till the next day. Exactly. It's all, all over again, exactly. for sure. Uh, that is deep, mm -hmm. though. I mean, put that way, I actually knew a dude that uh, uh, was dealing with the bad drugs and stuff and uh, he had never had dreads or anything, but he wanted to quit and he had tried to quit so many times before. Mm -hmm. So he desi decided that I'm going to grow me some locks and that's how he kept himself clean yeah. as long as he got them them represent that i'm staying away from what was bad in my life this is this is this is all good yeah <laughs> you know what i mean and he yeah. actually done it uh actually uh i stopped drinking alcohol for eight months and i like to drink you know what i mean but sometimes you need to slow it down mm -hmm. at least make sure you can if need yeah to. of course right? being control make sure you still right? have the willpower right exactly so uh actually that his story and what he told me, because I found it like very impactive, you know, it stuck with me forever, you know, since he said that, that's been with me for 30, for been 30 years or so, and that's been with me forever, I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, so, uh, I, uh, when I like stopped drinking, like I said, for eight, eight months, I used his story for some strength, you know, that was some strength for me to say, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep growing these, I'm, the reason why I'm not growing them, I fell off of it. But it still was my inspiration right. to get to eight months, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we supposed to grow them uh, at the same time. He's probably started his at what? 14, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you 14 16. Uh, I started mine. I started yeah. mine. I worked at this. I started mine sophomore Sophomore Right. I, I worked at this. Uh, high school? Yeah, sophomore year. High school. I was working at this, this plant, this uh, uh plant where I get a lot of color in my hair and stuff and I need to <laughs> wash yeah, it so I'm thinking there's no way and the, one of the hardest things for me to even grow dreads was the fact that if my hair got wet it would unravel mm -hmm. I mean how he quick his took mm -hmm. mine took twice as long because I have dreads in certain certain nappy zones <laughs> but the other zones man if it got wet the rain outside it would mm -hmm. come right back and loose Wow. So I'm running around with it, like I got wow. a process. What you doing? Straightening your hair? Mm. Nope. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. I, that's what you said. Actually, I tried to grow in my freshman year, but I had to swim. Jim right, Ryan. exactly. Don't even know swim like every day. There's no way that's these things about to stay mm -hmm. in my head. Like, they come that's out. crazy. And then football, you had your helmet. They probably were rubbing and all that, right? I don't know. Honestly, yeah. everyone had my helmet with was your always dress? too big yeah. because like my hair was. Oh. All my hair was in the helmet, so like it was hanging out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but so you see I'm the NFL player that often boys wearing them dreads, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. And you know they probably get them washed every day too. They better, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a grid iron. Stash them. Stash them. Yeah. Hair. No, I don't. I'm <laughs> oh, I do actually want you to explain your like process. How do you warm up? What do you go through? The warm up process. Yeah. And um. After that, then you put your room back together, and I can get out of your hair. My uh, my warm up process. Yes. Uh, well, I guess to warm up when I'm playing at my peak. My, it's a. Uh, I'm always working on my left hand. I'm always trying to get my left hand up to speed. My right hand. You know what I mean? Uh, Cause my right hand. You write right handed, right? Yeah, I write. I write right handed for the most part. Um. But I mean, I can write with my left too. Like my right hand writing and my left hand writing are identical. There's no difference. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like, if I have to write with my left, I do it sometimes just because I can. Simple fact that I can. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's a weird skill I have. 
<laughs> That's why you play the drums. Right, but yeah, exactly. And but another thing is that uh, um, you know, so I, I do use my left hand for certain things, but it's just not as I don't have the dexterity in it that I do in my right hand. I just don't. So I'm always trying to wake this up. I can wake if I can wake this hand up, then I can I can do anything I want. You know what I mean? But it's all about getting that left hand right. So I do a lot of um, I have a couple stretches that I'll do like. Put the sticks out this way, and I'll just kind of twirl them like this just to stretch my wrist. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A lot of drumming is in the wrist, you know, more so than like f just flailing my arms. Like, you know, I sit here, you know, what I'm saying, because <laughs> this is just conserving energy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So get my wrist right. Um, I'll do a lot of this type. Type of stuff, and then, um, like I said, I got that little practice pad, and which I'll use a lot even before I sit down on the kit just to get my speed up. I'll practice speed just to just to wake just to wake my my how wrist you, up. So how do you practice speed? Like um, like I'll do. What do, you, do you like loosen fingers or something on the stick, or like how are you getting that leverage? Uh, you know what. Like loosen yeah. up my fingers or anything, but like I said, it's my wrist. It's, still, it's in the wrist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I have my hands like here, so they're controlling. Um, it's not like this. You don't want to be. You don't want to be drumming like this because it's, I mean, it's a lot easier. Like I said, conservation of energy. So if I'm mm. doing this, like I'm barely, barely, barely. It's like a fast twitch. It's fast twitch. You know, muscles that you don't use every day. Mm. That you gotta that you have to work on, so, um, like, I'll, like I was saying, do stuff like that just to, just to wake it up, <laughs> they got different rudiments, like, uh, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, you know, <laughs> I have a little metronome app on my phone, so I'll, I'll throw in like my headphones and put this on, and then put it at a. I know I got there's certain speeds that I can, you know, that I can easily do certain rudiments, and I know that there's certain speeds I can't surpass. So what I'll do is I'll just go right where I can't do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Well, I'll practice where I can to get me warm, and then mm -hmm. eventually I'll just try to bump it up a bit just to challenge myself and. Eventually I'll get it, but it just takes a while of warming up. So um, yeah, it's just different little, different little rudiments you can do. You know what I mean? I have another one I do a lot. Uh, what is it? What is it? You're not gonna be able to just sit down. Let and me just it. try it. Okay. <laughs> you know what I was playing? Yep. You like the drum. <laughs> Alright, let's see it actually. Really tight. <laughs>
like the drums before. Never sat down behind a set at... Whoa. I swear. Uh, I promise you. Yeah, no I way. Don't, I promise you. No way. I promise you. Just lie to the camera. Don't do I'm, that. I'm not lying. I mean, I beat box. I beat box. I play on, I play on desks mm. and shit. Now you want to try to do what I was doing? Well, I tried. That's what, what, what my rendition was. A rudiment is a specific series of rights and lefts. Okay. Okay? So, try this one. You're going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's right, left, left, right, yeah. left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, 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 So your hi hat is your like um, it's like your, your timekeeper almost. So just do the hi hat and the kick right now. So you're gonna go kick mm -hmm. with them both at the first one. Mm -hmm. so kick, right? Okay. You hit the kick every other one. Yeah. And make sure they hit the same. Your left 
your left hand is going to hit by itself. I'm sorry. Your left hand is going to hit with your right hand. So you're going to go kick. Mm -hmm. So one of them is going to be a kick in the right, and the other one's going to be a mm -hmm. snare in the right. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go boom, 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 boom. That's a beat. That's your first beat. That's your first drum beat. <laughs> right there. Okay. Now, now I personally play. So you're sitting right there. Now you're getting just a little bit of kick. I don't play with my heel on the ground. I play with my heel in the air. So it gives Less you that cash. So it just <laughs> it just gives you more uh, it gives you more stomp. So you can play like this. I can't play this. Move your seat up a bit. It's like awkward. It's just like really. We can see that a bit and then try to get over top of it a little bit more. This? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, see, see if, you keep, if you put the heel up, how much harder you can get. to be higher that's why okay. i got the tape it just kind of keeps falling down no i'm yeah that's what i just like, that's what i'm yeah like, it, it's up. much better higher you're absolutely right so no 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 Give it a little bit. <laughs> I let it up. Alright, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank 
Drum roll, please. I don't know how to do it. Alright, he's kicking us out. We gotta no, go. no, it's good. Drum roll. Drum roll is important. How much top pressure you're giving it. You just let it roll like this. Like, it's different between it like this.
Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, you on top? Mikas, how am I doing? Good. I'm about to like get a drum set. Every time I pick up an instrument, I can play it. It's awesome. I can't do that. I can barely play even if I try. Jesus. Like when I started playing the piano, I got through like the first book in one week. Really? Mm hmm. I took beginning guitar and it took a while. I got a guitar. So good. I did guitar lessons and I did that. Like I learned to play them and then I just don't practice. Cause I'm like, oh, okay, I can play the instrument. And then I look for a different instrument that I can't play. You just always want to pick something up yeah. new. Like the next instrument I want to play is like the harp. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why. I want to learn to play the harp and I want to learn to play the cello. I played the cello in fourth grade. <laughs> I played the I violin in fourth grade like, really or fifth like, grade. I so. want to make love to the cello. I'm trying to play it. <laughs> make love to the cello. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful sound. <laughs> it's so pretty. Yeah. It you is. don't see the harp very often. No. Ever. You don't even see the harp in weddings anymore. I saw it at like a church recently. That's about it. Where? A church. Like just a regular Sunday service. Hmm. How? Why do you have so many um drumsticks? Um. Well, honestly. Because at one point, I didn't have enough drumsticks. And then, you know, I start uh, preparing for shows. Like right before a show, I just swing past the store, get and grab a new ones. So you play, so before every show, you play with a new pair of drumsticks? Not necessarily. I'll, um, if I don't have a decent pair, like if I don't have one decent pair, then I'll, I'll before a show, I'll go swing by the store, get a nice, solid pair. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, I, I'll so break those in the night. But you know. I? I like the drumsticks. Oh yeah, absolutely. Knock like yourself out. Mm -hmm. I like them. I like them broken in, though, so I may use the old ones. Or you have to sometimes teach I want to use the small ones. Sometimes I want this the different size. Yeah. So what do you do? What do you do when you can't play? When you're traveling or like on a airplane, and I really want to play. And I you really can't. or like late at it. night, and you're just like, I'm I just really want to play. So like when I'm out a lot, <laughs> you know, like you'll notice. Uh, like if I'm out and I'm just like having a conversation with somebody, you know, I will not. You just drum. start beatboxing, DV box. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I was a child. It's just something I always do. Like replicate the beat, her beat. You know what I'm saying? It's in my head. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But yeah, like when I'm out, I'll just. You that kid that got kicked out of class. For pencil. For making noises. From pencil drumming <laughs> and uh, lap drumming. Like, uh, when I was in college, I lived in apartments and I didn't get to play the drums for like two, 
to three solid years. Wow. I didn't, didn't touch a drum set. That's crazy. But I was always drumming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like I was always practicing. You never like went into like the music back, department and was like, hey guys. Actually, actually, yeah, uh, a couple <laughs> times. Like, I had like, you know, like, a couple times. Like, they turned you away? A couple times. It just wasn't always accessible. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It was pretty good access at the school. You had good access to things, but it wasn't like you could just waltz into okay. the studios with the three thousand dollar drums and shout you know, to any old stupid kid don't know what the fuck they doing. Like, it's like when I had like session classes, like studio classes, and there were drums there. Mm -hmm. There was a um, wait. So what did you study? Recording engineering. Okay. Oh, so cool. I was in the studio a lot. Wow. And. Uh, yeah, so there, we had one thing where we had to, we were testing mics, mm -hmm. and the best thing to do was just test on the drum set, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, is there anybody in here play drums? And I was just like, oh my god, I was this like, oh, is my this is my chance, this is my chance. You know what I mean? It's just like, Jesus Christ, I'm like, so. How do you know what to play? Oh, it was awkward as hell, like, I was so cold, like, I didn't, like so I said, weird. I haven't been back there so long, but. That's so weird. You know, I still did my thing, like, you know, I'm always evolving as a drummer. Yeah. You know, so, like. A couple years ago, Jesus, with my level of play to now, like I'm, I'm a better drummer now than I was, you know, three months ago. Yeah, you know that's I mean? good. That's good. How often do you practice? Like how many hours a day? Um, do you want these? I feel like you're like itching to play this. No, I'm, I'm just moving this stuff. You're okay. fine here. All right, all right, all right. I'm about to play like this. <laughs> I'm just really symbol. thirsty. Is this um, sometimes I mean. Wait, how do you hold? How do you hold these? I hold them. There's a couple different techniques. I personally do overhand method like I do. You know, some people do like underhand thing, you know, jazz cats. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Some people even do double overhand, which is like rare. But I feel like that's like chopsticks. I feel like that's what I would do. I used to hold my sticks like this, like on my thumb. I have weird thumbs. You see, I got this like hitchhiker thumb. I guess that's what they call it. So my thumbs were like ninety degrees. Yeah. But I used to hold my drumsticks like this. But I found that I have like more power and control if I hold them like this. So I actually hold them like this now. So it's actually how my drum sets are set up is also a part of that. Like mm -hmm. instead of you know my drums being over here, since my hands open now, you know, since my hands open now, that matters. Like I need elbow room to this way because my elbows are out now. Mm -hmm. Instead of playing like this, put my elbows out. It just gives me more control because I have my arm. And I have my wrist as mm -hmm. well. You know what I'm saying? And it has to be straight, mechanisms. right? And they and it helps with it out actually, like, because it gives me it puts my hands where they need to be. So what I want to play. This gives me though. power. This gives me power and control. When I was playing like this, I felt like all my hits were like just thin and wispy. Is there is, is there a certain like do you overhand. do you feel like there do you feel like in different genres of music a certain like style of how you hold your sticks? I think like, so definitely. Hands? I think so. Like I was saying, there's a lot of jazz cats. Mm -hmm. They will have an underhand, like their snare, more, like, like, yeah. like their snare hands is doing work, like underhands. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, which, with whichever hand it is, I feel like they always have like one underhand. But I feel like I don't see a lot of rock drummers rock a underhand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They way like overhand. <laughs> They like that 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 punk that's, like that that slam. solid sound, yeah. Slam. That yeah. Power. So you wouldn't find like this blanket in their face then, because they wanted to like. Maybe you know this. That's just a. Like, this is just because of. That's a tuning thing. Okay. Like, it just makes it sound. That makes my drum sound better. Like okay. I guarantee you, if any drummer had my drum set, they would throw a blanket <laughs> in that in that in that kick drum. <clears throat> it just sounds better. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's cool. There's better ways about going about it. You know, well, I don't know. I, like, I need to I'm, replace. I'm I need to replace the actual head. Like mm -hmm. it's pretty outdated as well. So, cool. I need to get that replaced. That makes that matters. You mm -hmm. know, having a drum, having a head on the outside also matters. Okay. So. Um, and what does that do? Like having one on both sides. It just changes. It just changes the sound. Mm -hmm. and does that matter for a certain type of music? It it just you know like the thing with music in general and especially with drums is that like there is a million ways to skin a cat mm -hmm. you know what I mean and I've always been one to just kind of work with what I got like just trial and error yeah you, know? you can 
you can listen to anybody and then do what they do. Mm -hmm. Or it's only going to take a matter of time before you find your knit, like you find your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Like guitarists, like they'll have these pedals and they have it in a certain signal flow and every, you know, they have their all their certain sounds. Like that's what mm -hmm. guitarists like. You know, I have certain symbols in certain places for certain reasons. Like yeah, so does that matter? Like if I wanted to have all of my symbols over here. You Could do. I? Yeah, absolutely. Like if I wanted to? No one's gonna no one's gonna stop you. Okay. <laughs> if that's how you like to get down, then, then do it like that. It's nice to listen, I mean, you know, ask questions, listen to people, learn things that other people do mm -hmm. for a reference, but it's just a matter of time you know. Like I'm 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 always <laughs> experimenting with my with my uh configuration. Mm -hmm. You know. Like I said, lately I've been getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. You mm -hmm. know, it's just better. It's nicer just to access things. Versus, you know, back in the day, like I had my damn uh, symbols like way up here. You know what I'm saying? I'm like reaching for toms. Because yeah. you you're know, a kid and you just want to like, dang, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> rocking out. And then slowly but surely, you know, you get more. You're like, okay, I can C, play now. My C used to be way lower. You know, now yeah, I play I, with a I high. Yeah, I thought this was pretty high. It's high, right? It is pretty high. I play with a high C. I like to hit but down why? on my drums. I like to hit down on my drums. Okay. And not like out or up. I like I, to hit yeah. down on my toms. Okay. Down on them. And I really would like to hit even more so down on them, but this 22 inch bass drum kind of limits me. Right? What's, it, what's the rack? What is that? A rack is like, it's a, it's actually like it's a rack that goes around your drum set. Okay. And you can like scoot it in and you can put anything anywhere on that rack. So mm -hmm. instead of me having like these snare, uh, these uh, cymbal stands, mm -hmm. I can just. Oh, okay. Everything's like on I like can, a I wire can mount like them. frame. I yeah. can mount them on and you the can rack. move them whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you can move the whole frame. You right. You too. can mount toms on them. That's crazy. Like, so it gives you a little more freedom. But uh, like I said, I work with what I have. That's cool. So what I do, like a hot chair, put these as little as I can do, and uh, rock it that way. That's awesome. Yeah. But yeah. Over hands. Like that. So like you can hit the, see, like hitting the back of my hand. It's like pretty much like it's like hitting the snare. I'm scared. I want to do it like, like, I want to do it like chicken noodle soup, like chopsticks. <laughs> 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 that works. <laughs> Is that how you play? You flip I've it? I've never played it before. Yeah. I've never played it I used to be, oh, but I, I do. This is your first time? I've never played the drums before, but I've This is your first time sitting behind the drums? Wow. But you, I, you never went to, like, the music store and, like, no. sat behind the drums? Nah. But my uncle plays the, plays the drums because he's, like, very connected to our African roots. I'm sick with it, bro. If I sat there and drum with one hand and just riff and sing solo. Oh my God! Has that ever been done? I don't know. Has that ever been ever done it? I don't. You should do it. Yeah, we should do it. <laughs> like show, just I don't know. Tyler and Michael. Uh, <laughs> said solo while playing. I don't know. Do you think that's ever been done? I'm sure it's been done before, but not like, often, obviously. No. So, I don't think so. I need to let you know. Uh, that's your next practice. I know, like, ugh, how do I know how close I need to be? Well, that would depend on, like, you know, can you even reach the bar right now? Yeah. You want the seat lower? Yeah, like a little bit. Okay, just like a little bit, like an inch. Oh, you don't weigh anything, Jesus. I weigh like two pounds. So, like, oh yeah, and then, like, my uncle, my uncle was a, um, 
I was telling your dad that my uncle played the sax, and so like I grew up around music, and my dad played the piano, and my sister like went to Duke Ellington, but um, I I like went to Mount Vernon, so I never like studied music, but I've been around it. What is Duke like, Ellington? My mom played the flute. Oh, Duke Ellington is like a like a magnet school for performing arts. Like what is it up here? What school is that? Um, In the. The one downtown in Cincinnati, performing arts. Mm -hmm. Oh, high school. Yeah. What yeah. was that? The TV show that they did on performing MTV. Arts. Yeah. All right. What was it called? The show on MTV. I know what you're talking about. Performing arts. Right? No. Yeah, what I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, the the show. The show. Yeah. I don't know what the show was called. I remember it came out when we were at UC, yeah. and the guy, the the people played. We went and watched them at Mad Frog. Mm -hmm. I forget the name of that. Anyway. Um, So, yeah, like my, yeah, I grew up around music. I just <laughs> never pursued it, I guess. That could have been me. So I uh, did sports. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was pursuing that like right out of high school, you know, so I played football or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then it just came a point in time where I was just like, yeah, this isn't what I, this isn't. Yeah, that's not what you like, want. I'm done with this. Like, mm -hmm. I, 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 did, I did two things, you mm -hmm. know, growing up. Two things I always done. It's football, or, you know, sports, mm -hmm. or music. Mm -hmm. Always, those two things, uh, like, my whole life. So, I tried one, and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to go pursue the other. The other one feels better physically, mentally, and, <laughs> like, in every way possible. Yeah. <laughs> like, Do you need help? I'm sitting here like destroying my body. I didn't. Yeah, I'm. I'm stupid. I didn't. But um, actually, you know what? These aren't connected to anything. That's great that you like. You did that, and you and you still completed something, but you still you went back to what you wanted to do. Yeah, you know, so I, tr I tried it. You know, I, I can't say that. Uh, oh, I wish I would have tried it. You know, because I did. I, I tried it out. 